is going on everyone is we're back again with another video in today's video we obviously had our first content update of the year and they added in something pretty interesting called the great egg hunt so let's go check that out so this is the great egg hunt program with five nice cards in here as well which are pretty good and there's actually an interesting way to get these so let's show you how to get these and then i'll go over the cards so the only thing we have here is the collections and they give you these little hints that you have to figure out and able to get these eggs so it's very interesting and i'm gonna show you guys how to get all of them today so the first one's pretty easy. All you have to do is do the moments. So you might be thinking, how do you do the moments in this one? So what you're going to do is you're going to exit out of Diamond Dynasty. You're going to scroll down to the quick play, go to moments right here, as you can see. And then you're going to want to go to the other programs and then you have the Great Egg Hunt programs. So you pretty much just do these five moments. As soon as you do this, you're going to get the first egg of this program. So for the second egg, you can see all the mini seasons team logos on here. So pretty much for this one, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to win the mini season in this one. So you have to go through that 28 game schedule, whatever, and you're going to have to win that season to get this egg, which I'm pretty close to doing actually. So I'll get that one pretty soon. And if we go to the third one, you can see this is a conquest one right here. So pretty much you just have to beat any conquest map um, that's already been in the game. I'm pretty sure you just can't do the Braves one though, because I, I beat that one and it didn't work for me. But any other conquest map you could complete, you can get this one as well. The fourth egg, you have to play, win, or just get in a BR game. There's a ton of different ways that people are saying they've got this one. People have won, people have just played and lost. People have hit home runs, people have walked and got it. So we're not really sure what it is, but pretty much you play a BR game and you can pretty much win or do something and you pretty much get this one. It's a little bit confusing right now, but just play BR and you'll be able to get this egg. So for this egg, you can see it has the little World Series rings on it. So you're gonna have to go in rank seasons and get a save in a ranked game. So pretty much bottom of the ninth inning, you put your closer in and he shuts down the game. A save is within three runs though. So this one might be challenging because I know a lot of people leave games a lot of the time. So that's how you get this egg but you should be able to do it pretty quickly. So for egg number six, you're going to have to get walked in a ranked seasons game. I'm pretty sure it has to be ranked seasons. I don't know if it's in BR events. The only people I've seen get it are in ranked seasons right now. So you're pretty much going to have to get walked in ranked seasons and you'll get this egg. So number seven has the little parallel program on it right there. And you're going to have to parallel the cards in the other program pretty much there's a lot of different ways people have gotten this one um you know people are saying if you know if you get parallel five on some cards people are saying they just paralleled one card and got it but i'm pretty sure if the parallel the cards in this program um because that's that's the way i'm seeing some people get it um, but it's a little bit confusing because you know not everyone has the full details but you have the parallel card in the program i'm pretty sure that's how you get this one number eight which is another pretty easy one you have to beat the orioles the blue jays or the cardinals in play versus cpu and it can be on any difficulty i did mine on rookie so that's how i was able to get this one pretty easy overall and then this last egg you have to play the event um I'm not, it's the same with the br one i'm not sure you have to win it or just play it or you have to get a hit home run or something like that but i know if you just play the event you'll be able to get this one as well so those are all the nine eggs you have to get and you get 10 um you get 10 points in the program for doing this so let's go over the cards now we obviously got catfish hunter right here who's been a pretty good card i've used him a little bit able to get that parallel one on him and he's looking really solid his pitch mix is really good he got some okay quirks as well um for him so uh not bad overall i like the i kind of like the two fastballs on him i don't really like that a lot but with the slider change of incurable i think it works really well with his pitch mix so really good card i really recommend checking him out at 30 points in the program we have this alex bregman card 96 overall his 2019 second half card and he's really good he can play a lot of positions as you can see he can play first shortstop and left as well as third base and this card's really good. I mean, he's really good against lefties. He's always been like that his whole career. He's got really good vision in this card. He's got okay fielding, silver fielding, not the best. He's got 54 speed. So not a terrible third baseman card. I think he could be really good against lefties. Um, so he's, I, th I think this card would be really good off the bench against lefties. Then at 50 points in the program, we have Gregory Soto. Obviously, this card was a beast last year. Um, and I really enjoyed using him when we had him. So he's got the sinker, slider, fastball, circle, change. Obviously, really good card, really good hits per nine, really good Ks per nine. And this card could do a lot of damage. I mean, I remember using him last year. It was really good. He does have that outlaw on his fastball as well. So, really good card. I'm really excited to use him. Then at 70 points in the program, we have this George Springer card. Really good overall. Could play the whole outfield. And honestly, he's just like one of those like cards that's just good at everything. He's got really good hitting stats. He's got really good fielding stats, that gold fielding. And he's got good speed as well. So, he's kind of overall just a good card in general. And I think I'm definitely going to have to use this card at least once because he's really good and then the last card at 80 points we have reggie jackson from the yankees obviously could play the whole outfield and uh, honestly the card is really good the 81 vision is good for me just because you know 
Yeah, I, I struggled with him a little bit in the moments, but uh, as he seemed like a good card when I was able to piece one up with him. His defense is pretty good as well, and the speed's okay. So those are the five cards from the program. And honestly, they look pretty good. They're all no sell, so you can't sell any of these cards in the market or anything like that, which is kind of unfortunate. But the egg hunt is really solid overall. I'm excited to get the rest of those eggs. I thought it was a really interesting idea. I kind of like this. The community had to kind of get it together. I know I was refreshing Twitter. I was on the Reddit earlier trying to figure it out. But I really liked it. So that's how you get all the eggs and all the cards in this program. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, you know, make sure to comment them down below. And I'll be able to answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.